and welcome. I'm so excited to get into today's video. As we're to get into is the cast part of the Sims 4 update and looking into the infants aspects and just see what we get just in cast alone. So I'm very excited to see this just because it's a whole new life stage. So I'm kind of nervous but also excited to see what they're gonna have for us when you just get base game obviously base game is free but i think that's enough rambling on that let's just get into the video okay so already super cute i do like the little pillow that they have for the animation and um, let's just see what all they come with obviously we got glasses on but let me see your little eyes little one so you oh my god it reminds me of ice age oh my goodness does anybody else see that I'm not lying, right? The little kid in Ice Age? Or am I remembering wrong? It's been so long since I've watched Ice Age. Okay, sorry. Side note. But here's the little different eyes we get. We get six different eyes. Or eight. Eight. I can count occasionally. But eight different eyes. Which I think that you get the same for toddlers, if I remember correctly. And then as for hairs, let's just do all. So this is all we get currently. Um, we're going to get more with the new pack, which is A-OK. -okay. So we have that one here, there. I'm not going to lie. Bald. Okay. Very nice. Not gonna lie though, I am excited for people to create CC content. I'm a huge alpha like hairstyle lover, so very excited for that. I'm not gonna lie though, this one and this one I absolutely love. I think that the details that they did on these ones make it so I can use it even with my alpha CC hair that comes out. So and even I want to say this one, curls are so hard to come by in CC alpha hair. So honestly, I'm not even mad at that. So those are the hairs. Let's just do choose one of my favorites. Let's just do that one. As for eyebrows, though, I'm not going to say they're not my favorite. Eyebrows is definitely something I'm picky about. Plus, I'm not, not to be brutal, but to be brutal, I guess, is that these kind of just look drawn on. Like, the kids drew them on themselves. Obviously, kids can't draw that nice, but, like, I imagine, like, they, a kid drew, like, colored in, and then they only in the lines. I don't know. Somehow, magically, we did that. But moving on, let's see. What kind of hats do we receive? We got... So we got nifty knitting one. So they incorporated that, that the infants can have. I'm assuming that we can knit for. We have, like, this little bucket hat, which I feel like I've seen before, definitely, for potentially toddlers. So they have that there. We also have this, which I think is really cute. Like, as a parent, I would imagine, like, you'd want that. Something I do imagine that they don't really consider is how much tummy time or back time they get in the game. We were playing this earlier on my live stream, so... I'm assuming that's not really considered, but this is definitely an added feature that you can have for a little more realism. And I definitely love the different variations that they have with that. I, I could definitely tell they took care of the fact of swatches, if that makes sense. Like, I could tell that they put a lot of thought into it. Oh my goodness, the bunny! Let's see with hair, too. Nothing. Okay. I just wanted to see if the hair would stick out at all. Let's see, that's that one. And oh my goodness, look at you, you're so cute! Oh, I love the little bow! Aww! Look baby's just like what the heck are you putting on my head so we have that and then lastly oh my god it's like a fashion bucket hat i think this is my favorite i won't lie to you guys i love the fashionable bucket hat i really do i want more bucket hats in my life the only issue with bucket hats is finding bucket hats that fit but that's a whole rant for itself and now for glasses we kind of have like ooh, look at you mm. wait oh god i forgot when masculine was there any other hats that weren't masculine no okay that's good to know but yeah, so we got little glasses. Honestly, not my favorite, but I mean, you're an infant, so how cool can your glasses get? Then we have this. Let me take the hat off, which you guys can see could go around the head, which weird that this one doesn't also, but this one does, which is really nice because if they are an infant, you want something that stays attached to their head. So that's it. And then no makeup, of course. So, okay, moving on. You can have glasses. Why not? I'm just going to take off masculine just so we can check everything out. We have... Honestly, these kind of remind me of the toddler outfits. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, ooh, that one? Wait, let's see. Looks kind of nice. I kind of like that one. Sweaters, I'm all there for. <gasps> the rainbow. Honestly, we might go back to this one. This might be my favorite so far. Anything rainbowy, love. Take my money. We have this one here. So cute. Little bow on there. I'm not going to show you every single swatch. You guys can definitely check that out. If you guys prefer a swatch that you want to see, let me know down below because then I can, like, select those for ya. But it's base game. Base game's free. You definitely can get this on your own. Definitely recommend if you're looking to play The Sims and you don't have it yet. 10 out of 10. <gasps> so cute! Look at the little ice creams! Okay, and then the little avocado, and then the little characters. Oh, this one comes with a variety of little characters, which is super cute. And then just, like, some plain tees. <gasps> the hoodie! Actually, I think I might put the hoodie on you with the cat. Honestly, that's such a derpy-looking cat, and I think I love it. What else we got? Okay, and this one. Love the sweaters. Oh, but look at the little pockets! 
Yes. Okay. This one's this one sold. It took my money. It had little strawberry pockets. Okay. Moving on to pants. You turn around for these to show off your little bum. Okay. You got little diaper, which obviously, if like I'm assuming like hot weather, this would be perfect for it. Let me take out that. So, and then we have little bottoms, just little jeans, and then shorts to go along with it. Is that like the same swatches from the looks of it? Maybe. I think so. And then a different type of style jeans, which those are nice. Can you guys see that? Not too shabby. And we got like these little, what do we like leggings? We got look at the hearts. Okay, I'm about to dress you up like your granny. I don't care. Say less. <laughs> okay. And then we got these guys with different patterns, more jeans, a little skirt, which you don't need a skirt. If you're, you're an infant, you're crawling around. I mean, maybe it's a skirt. And little sweatpants. You could do what you do with your sweatpants. Maybe you could do pink sweatpants. Put you in a sweatsuit. Yes. Okay, now for little shoes. You turn around again. You're like, oof, what a workout, man. Okay, we got, we just got four pairs, which I'm not mad at. I could definitely see the same, like, patterns from like, infants with toddlers. That's for sure. Maybe we should put these little shoes. Let's put them in white, you know? Or maybe, I wish they came in green. These. You're styling. Look at you now. They also have style books. Okay, so if you guys are definitely somebody who doesn't like style, like styling your kids in general, they have that for you. Okay, so this is future me just because as I was literally going to bed, I was like, oh my god, I missed a whole entire section of items for us, which is the full body items, which I'm very excited to check out. I've checked out everything but this. I was literally looking at images of other people's videos and I was like, wait, how did I forget the costumes and like the different outfits so let's check that out now so they have like the nifty knitting one which is absolutely adorable it has like the little in my opinion like really silly and cute prints which I'm all there for and they have different colors I'm sold we have our full body winter outfit which is really really cute look at honestly I'm in love I, I find it really cute I like the texture on these items 1000% like would put this on one of our kids let me check it out with hair really quickly just to see if we did have longer hair okay so that's my one downfall i want to say is like i can see in the hood but i can't see any hair in there so that's just my personal opinion when i check out different like hoodies and whatnot i typically prefer no hoodie just because of the fact that you can't see hair it looks a little less realistic but if they're an infant so i feel like it might matter less and then we have little overalls stop oh my goodness with the little patterns you are so cute i'm about to take you home oh my the little cherry oh my goodness you're so cute and then we have this one which i definitely think is on toddlers too i say think because i feel like if i like confidently say that i'll be wrong but look at the little the wings stop if the toddlers have that i don't remember that but that is so cute what the heck you're so fitted. I think this one's my favorite, 1,000% with the little wings on there. Even if I can't see hair, I don't care. And then we have a little suit, little tuxedo for you. Oh my goodness, so cute. Wait, so this is mean. I mean, I don't think I'll ever want it. Can you imagine the chaos of bringing the kid, like the infant to a wedding? It's chaotic enough with adults. Like, let alone trying to like bring my little like infant all around but I don't know if you I like the chaos maybe you know you just have your like little infant crawling out of the wedding scene and you're like what the heck but you know things happen and then we have like a little is this a sh I think this is a shirt like a dress with the uh, little leggings yeah okay so we got like a little unicorn with a little Mitch match like a lot of these have make the Mitch match leggings which I find really cute I mean if you're gonna have a kid you, you tend to need to change their clothes but quite often which you can definitely add more outfits to which is really nice if you wanted to take the time for that and let's see, Oh, the other one's still my favorite. But the bear, the bear might top it, I don't know. And there's a pink bear. Oh my god, I can't, and this is base game. This is base game alone, so they better, they better top it in the groin together. I'm not lying, they better, I'm really hoping so, cause this stole my heart. Look at the little tail too, when they crawl around, I bet you could see their little tail. Okay, and then we have little more dresses, let's see. With all the little cute little patterns. Oh, that has like little clouds on it. I wonder why the base game update for infants has a lot of clouds. I don't know if you guys noticed that, especially with the items too. Okay, and then look at the little bear. The, oh my god, I can't believe I almost missed this when recording. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry guys, because these are absolutely, I think these are like top tier, like my favorite. The amount of items they gave us just base game alone. I do wonder 
if they're gonna slowly add it to other packs or is it just gonna go from growing together and then forward is that why the, is that probably why they try to give us options i don't i don't know would love to hear your guys' opinions if they should like update all the packs i mean that's gonna be a lot of work i'm only imagining but it'd be nice if they did since they add a whole new life stage so we have all these which are absolutely cute like i keep saying i love the look of the clothing um a lot quite quite a bit i think like mostly of the most of these I love the detail work that they did in them. I think they did really well with it. And look at that. And the options are just absolutely adorable. The different... I keep saying the same things with every single item. I, I can't... I'm just going to keep repeating myself, unfortunately. Because they are... They're so stinking cute. They have so many options for it. Like, look. If you're going to do the not-so-berry challenge or any, like, color scheme challenge, I feel like you can knock it out. I mean, obviously, don't quote me because I'm obviously not checking all the colors and making sure we have them, but... And then oh, the strawberry little, it'd be so cute. I wish they did a cow print, like the strawberry cow print. I feel like that's really popular right now. They could have done that, but it's okay. It's okay. They still got a lot of options that I find are really cute. And let's see. And I think that's it. Which one was your guys' favorite? Please let me know. But I'm definitely going to put, oh God, this one. Yeah, you're stuck in that one. But thank you guys. I'm sorry. I had to add that one in there. And sorry again for missing that whole entire section and i think that's it yeah so i showed off everything let me know what you guys think i'm at 10 out of 10 and then as for we'll t talk about traits really quickly let me move my big head then i'm over here hi guys so they have calm cautious intense sensitive sunny and wiggly so for calm they have these sims like to watch the world are less likely to cry or become angry and don't grow tired of activities as easily as others infants however they are less likely to explore the world on their own so they may be less curious or if you just want a tile that stays there and not really goes anywhere no runaways that's definitely one you might want Cautious, these sims appreciate the familiarity, but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and sims. Okay. Intense. These sims are, have big emotions and are easily entertained, but they are uh, also more difficult to calm down when in a bad mood. Oof. Okay. And then sensitive. These sims are prone to diaper rushes. We can get diaper rushes? I didn't get that in my seven infants challenge, but if you guys have a diaper rash, let me know down below. If you guys, well, obviously not you personally. Um, please don't tell me that. But if your if your infant sim has had a diaper rash, yeah, since the update, let me know. Are often picky eaters and can more easily become overstimulated by too much play and social interactions. However, they also rest more peacefully through the night than when soothed. Sensitive sounds rough. Sunny. These sims um, are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoying. And enjoy engagement with other sims but they do require more social interactions okay wiggly these sims are always on the go and want to play and move about however they often struggle to fall asleep or pay attention to for extended periods of time so those are those honestly i'm very excited we played for it a little bit i do want eyelashes i'm not gonna lie because i love eyelashes on my sims but outside of that i love everything i am very excited to see all the cc content oh wait i almost forgot i'm so so sorry here we go. We have little birthmarks now. So there's one. There's one. We have one here. I'm just adding to it. There's one. Okay. Oh, and this one comes with a variety of colors. Okay. So you can choose what style. And especially skin tones. I think they were mentioning that they, they try to really think about different skin tones when making birthmarks. And so we have that there. And then one on the other side. What? And then we have little teepees. We do, we do teeth. They're so cute. Okay. And let's see. None there, none there, none there, none there. Okay. So I think I finally got everything. I just had to make sure that I didn't forget anything again. And you could obviously choose your voices. Not walk style. They definitely crawl. They're very cute when they crawl. And I think that'll do it for this video. Honestly, I enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, what your thoughts, what you're excited about. And I think the, like I said, my thing is definitely CC content just because there's so much I like. I mentioned multiple things throughout this video. But outside of that, the infants I'm excited but nervous about with the whole interactions with. As for outfits itself, I am excited to have more. It's very limited. I'm, you know, I love a lot of items in my game. I like to overwhelm myself. Um, I'm definitely the kid who likes to over... I'm definitely the kid who likes to overstimulate. But either way, I'm still excited. The items they have are super cute. I do love the pink outfits, obviously. The, put this little kid in a pink outfit, if you can't tell. But that'll do it for this video. And yay! Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm trying to keep you guys all up to date on the upcoming stuff. Different ins and outs of this update. But let me know what you guys think down below. And welcome to the village.